Hey there, so it's been a while since I did a tech profile where I actually talked. Um, the reason why I haven't done this for a while is because I'm not a really good talker. There's some words I cannot pronounce correctly and then I stutter once in a while. So yeah. And also before I start, I want to mention my deck profiles are usually um casual, like meant for casual plays or casual duels. Like some like dueling, I guess like say Crystal Peas or Fables or Egg Sabers or Reptilians, Fortune Ladies, Harpies, probably Harpies also. But yeah, nothing like competitive like they say Triton or uh, what's uh, I can't think of what others like meta right now. But yeah. So before it's now, yeah, sorry about that. Now let's start with the tech profile. Also, one thing I want to mention, I don't have Baron, the other floor. Um, I never I was able to pull it from a booster box, and I never want to spend more than I can. I don't want to spend more than what I need to. So, yeah. So let me just lower this down. Sorry about that. Alright, so, um, so I have, I'm running two saucer, no, no saucer, sausage, sausage, that's sausage, it's okay, the fleur. What this card does is, um, I get to destroy a monster I control and one card on the field, so I can special summon it, and then when it gets destroyed, I can add a level one plant monster from my, um, from my deck to my hand. And also, I can shuffle one monster level, I think level 8 or lower. Or just want any monster from a graveyard to my deck. Next, I'm running two. Um, this is Sorcerer the Flare. Um, this card, be, this card can be better summoned from your deck with the effect of Necro Flare. And also, when this card is summoned, it does summon the monster from your opponent's graveyard to your side of the field. Um, that effect, not really. That good because you, unless you go for like link summon or something like that, but then you're just wasting uh, like this high level attack monster. Anyways, um, mostly that's the effect. Next, I'm running Necro Flear. Um, Necro Flear effect is that when it gets destroyed by card effect or not, when it ever destroyed, oh, uh, yeah, had to be destroyed by card effect. My bad. When it's destroyed by card effect, it can special summon its sorcerer the flare from the deck. Next, I'm running three flare synchro. Not flare synchro. Necro synchro. Um, this card be get treated as flare synchro when it's in the field and graveyard. And has an effect which I keep forgetting. Um, yeah, once per turn, you can target another, uh, monster on your I control increases the level by two until the end phase. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as single material for a wind monster, you can special summon one level one plant monster from your deck. So mostly when this summon actually um uh, um when this card so mostly when this card is sync used for a single summon, you can special summon the nickel flare from your deck. That had to be level one or lower monster, but mostly nickel flare. Next flare synchro. So this card effect is that when it's um synchro summon, you can special summon level two or lower monster from your hand. Next, white steed of the floor next. With this effect is that when it's you when you I control a level two or lower monster from a field, I can special summon this card from your hand. With a level two tuners, you can easily summon two Chevalier to the floor. And also has another effect. Like we did do like negating battle when it's a graveyard, but I already used that. Next is two floor, two horse of the floor knights. So what this effect is does is that when, uh, when it's normal or special summon, I could add a normal knight, light, a light normal knight from a deck to my hand. And when it's in a, I think this, what was the other effect? Oh, that's right. Um, when this card is used, and this card can also be used for fusion summon from using this card and another card from a hand, mostly for no a noble knight. So you could go into um Centaur Mina's Centaur Mina, I think that was the name. I keep forgetting my cards. Anyway, so here's the next three cards. 
Um, number night shield pair mostly use this effect where you get this card to this card from your hand, add a white like a um a white steed of the horse knight, or you can mostly use the effect to get white steed of the floor knight or the horse of the or ho horse of the floor knights. Ah, I keep messing up. This that's why I thought the talk profile. Next um one number knight spear holder. Um, when this is on the field, or when it's no, not field, when there's no more a special summon, this card can be treated as a f level two tuner. And, um, mostly, how do we level two? Yeah, a Fleur Synchro, my bad. This card can be treated as a Fleur Synchro, which is level two. So yeah, level two tuner. And then you can use this card with the white steed to synchro summon for a Chevalier to Fleur or level eight monster. And one note, one number like Joe, her effect is not really useful. It had to do with losing battle attack and stuff like that, but yeah. Anyway, so that's the monster. Um, next to spells, three synchro diamond. Um, mostly had to do with your synchrons. Um, send one synchro monster from your hand or face up to the graveyard. Special summon one monster from your hand. And then the other effect is target one card you control, destroy it. If you do special summon one synchro monster with a different name from your hand or deck, or a different original name. So mostly this is a card too. Um, mostly this just in case you have like a sorcerer to flare in your hand and you want to special summon it, but you, uh, you can't use Nickel Flare. You can send a synchro special summon the flare, sorcerer to flare from your hand. There's the other effect where you get done. Send one card you control, destroy it, and if you do special summon one for sync card from your hand or from a hand or deck. Yeah, hand or graveyard, my bad. And so mostly what you could do this effect is destroy the naked flare. Uh summon so sort of flare from your deck or mostly mostly naked flare that mean target when you want to destroy. Then um special summon if tuner, then leave a white steed from your hand. You can special summon it. And then you have YST, the tuner, and the saucer sort of flare. Anyway, so next is um Flare Flare. Can't pronounce it, the Flare. Is the equip spell mostly? What it does is that um you could equip it to the level two or lower monster from your graveyard. So mostly it special summon it first, then equip it. Then when it's sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon or whatever, then you can attach it to a a synchro monster, mostly Chevalier the Fleur, and a King's attack. So mostly like a monster reborn for level two tuner monster mostly. Or for the Fleur and Synch um neck of synchro. Next three tuning. Tuning does is that you get add a um synchro monster from your deck to your hand. Mostly this is an old card so it's very common. And tune some decks. Uh, next, I'm running Echo Death Zone and Soul Binding Gate. Um, so Echo Death Zone, what it does is that whenever a monster is summoned, exactly one monster is summoned, destroy it and add, summon a token to the player side, and the monster attack and defense is equal to the original attack and defense of the monster that was destroyed. So mostly use this for like, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this from the beginning. Um, this deck is very influenced by the character Jerry the Blanc from the anime Yu Gi Oh! Fight Ds. And, um, what about the color? Or, or not color, what I want to say. Um, what I want to say is that, um, so mostly this deck has used a lot of cards from the anime and from the character. Mostly all my decks are built based on the characters, like Vulture Ladies from Carly, um, Retilians from Misty, and stuff like that. Anyway, so and of that, so let's go back to the deck file. So it could zone, like I said, destroy a monster on the field when it's exactly summoned. Or it had to be one monster when it's summoned. Um and after that, summon a token. So when they so mostly it could be annoyance. And yeah. And so by the gate, if when the monster oh first it can only be activated if I have no monster on the field and when the card is destroyed. That I control mostly. And then when I have the card C1 in my deck, or not deck, in my graveyard, or zone, 
no, uh, you pronounce it as Iwan or Stone in the graveyard. Um, any monster that is summoned is destroyed. Again, it had to be exactly one monster. And when it's destroyed, if it inflicts 800 damage to myself first, then it inflicts 800 damage to your opponent. So yeah, it is another card that you use by the enemy. And end up running it because it's fun. And of course, they come in handy once in a while. A good come in handy with Nicker Fleur, some of its um, sorcerer. If your life points, I think I already mentioned this or not, but yeah, the monster that is destroyed, how to have their attack lower than my life point. If it's higher than my life point, they're safe. If it's lower, then you get the story. And sorcerer the floor and such, and Saga the floor are mostly attack are higher, so mostly they're safe if my life points are low. And hoping by that time my opponent life points are low too. Next, I'm running the card C1 or so. So this card effect is that when this card is destroyed and send it on um, graveyard while set, I can add a field spell or continue spell from a deck, no, my deck from the graveyard to my hand. So I can add a field spell or I can add a continue spell, which is like the flare of um, synchro diama. Next, it terraforming. Monster Reborn and a Foolish Burial. Terraforming to get the field spell, Monster Reborn to summon any monster, like especially like Synchro Monster, like Jevil of Lear or anything like that. Next and lastly, two Liberty of Last. What this card does is that when a monster is destroyed in battle, you get return two monster on your opponent's side of the field or the hand. Happy. Two monster on the uh, two monster on the field and they return it to the hand. Mostly you want to return your opponents. So yeah. Alright, now for the extra. I'm running three Chivalier this uh Fleur. Like I said, I don't have my own. And so I'm using her as my main monster to go, like my boss monster. So mostly what it does is like once per turn, I can negate the spell trap, but yeah, once per turn, then destroy the card. I'm also running a Stardust. Let me put it in the center, I'm not sure why, but yeah. A Stardust Dragon, just because of the how it's related to anime, stuff like that, from Yu Gi Oh! Fighties, you say. So yeah, I'm just running a Stardust Dragon for mostly for that. Um, next, I'm running a Scarlet, right? Scarlet, red. Dragon Archery and a Red Nova Dragon. So Scarlet Red Dragon Archery does the fact is that I can destroy monster on the field, inflict eight hundred points of damage. Eight hundred. Uh, not eight hundred. Five hundred points of damage to your opponent. Um, and also it's treated as a Red Dragon Archery for you. It's treated as a Red Dragon Archery on the field, so you can use this and two tuners to go to Red Dragon. No, no. Red Nova Dragon and Red Nova Dragon effect is that it can be destroyed by card effects. And it gains a 500 attack for each tuner on the field. Not field, on the graveyard. My bad. So yeah, and you can go to this card. Like, is it is possible to go to this, um, monster with some um, Flare Synchron and Nick or Synchro? Both are treated, uh, not treated, are uh, both are level two. And you also have the Nomad Knight Spear, Spear Holder or whatever. And yeah. And most of running is Brionic, a dragon of the ice barrier. Mostly a level six, so you could return them. Um, so you could use a level two and a four tuner monster. And, uh, not level two tuner and then a level four monster to return the card from the field to the hand or to the owner hand. Um, running a magical android. Mostly effect is that, um, when it's, and during the end phase of my turn, it can, I get 500. Not 500, 600 life points each in phase, which for each psychic monster I control. Mostly the purpose of this and Scarlet Red Dragon Archery is to inflict, um, this one is to inflict damage to an opponent. So when I have some by the gate, I hope they lose first before I do. And my trigger Android is to increase my life points, hoping that my opponent life points are lower than mine. So they lose first before I do, but yeah. But then again, they can be easily destroyed by spell and trap. And that's where Starlight Scar, um, um, Scar's like Stardust come in handy. But yeah, it's very, it's very complicated. But 
is work. I have that's my purpose of this card. Next, I'm running two center mina. Can be easily summoned using wise not wise D horse of the floor knights. And um a Noma Knight from your hand like the uh, spear order or the Noma Knight shown. And what it does is that it could um negate a um hold on let me read that again. You can negate a trap card when it's activated once per turn and it's reset it. Mostly reset it in the field. Then once per turn, um you can spell summon one level two or lower monster from your hand or graveyard. So we mostly want to go for synchro or flare synchro or necro synchro or any tuner monster. And then it's treated as, and then you can synchro summon with Centamina, which is level six to share with the Fleur or any other eight monster like Stardust or Scarlet. And yeah. Next I'm running my XC, no, yeah, XC monster. Or, Number 38, Hope, 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 Bringer, Dragon, Titanic, Galaxy, the Great Thing, how can I pronounce this name? Think the Ogres of the Evening Star. And number 45, Rumble, Locust, the Pup Prophet of Demolition, or something like that. I cannot pronounce the name correctly, so. Anyway, so this card that can affect cards, neg not affect, negate cards effects, and attach it to the equip. Uh, equip not equip it uh, attach it to as a material this card because um send one card on the field to the graveyard is set so not destroy or remove or banish or whatever is set so this could come in handy for certain uh, monsters and then this guy um can negate a monster effect when it's on the field and yeah this is a level two and these are uh, not level two rank two and rank eight Use this for social flare or saga flare or serial flare flare or um XC seven. This um sorry about that. Um uh, this card could do um is ring two so you can use two Tuners or the overnight spear holder. Um, do exceed seven for that. And lastly, a nightmare phoenix and a nightmare Cerberus phoenix. I, I believe this is the one that destroys spell and trap, and this one destroy a monster by discarding card from your hand. But yeah, so that must leave my deck. Um, um, like I said, this is more like casual play for against like. Like non meta, non meta decks, like just to your friends or go to the local once in a while, but um, nothing like special. And also, of course, you can easily replace cards like um, the field spell for more um, more competitive cards like and burdens and burdens. I cannot pronounce the word and um, ash blossom and stuff like that, like hand traps or more meta cards. I don't have lightning storm, so I can't do that. And then, like, of course, you could use other cards, like, more expensive, more, like, evenly matched compared to Liberty of Last. But the reason I'm running Liberty of Last, which is this card, just in case you forget, um, because it was running in the anime, and I want to have more fun with that. Deck. But if you want it more competitive, you could replace this for evenly match and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's some cards you could easily replace. There's no... Um, this is more for the more casual play and more for the anime, like anime, more like anime build than anything else. So yeah, that was my deck. And under this is a very long video, 20 minutes long. Um, sorry about that, but hope this shows like why I can't do talking videos because yeah, it takes so long and then I messed up and such. And yeah. And before I go, um, it been like, yeah, no, I don't want to ramble too much and stumble my words. So yeah, I had to go now. All right. Till next time. Bye.